Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Replay. I'm your host, Andrew Reiner. Today, I'm joined by Tim Turry. Hey, Reiner. He's going to be playing this game. Matt Helgeson. Hey, Reiner. Appearance. I haven't been on Replay for a long time. Since uh, Overblood. Seriously? Yeah. Holy One of the cow. Overblood. Well, maybe we should kick you out of here and yeah, just have maybe. that memory. You guys have been... <laughs> wow. It's a great, it's great going, way to end going it. going so well. Overblood 2, I should say. Oh, never mind. <laughs> and Kyle Hilliard. Hey, it's me, Kyle Hilliard. We're looking at the Game Boy Advance version of Max Payne. This is a present for Tim. He's never played this before. No. And this Some present. One of his favorite, hmm. Yeah, one of his favorite series ever. Back in the day, this scored a 775. Look at the okay. clouds. That's good cloud technology. I think that's it's kind of like probably it's kind a problem. You probably don't want to be near a, a weather pattern like that. No. People probably know it by now, but that's Sam Lake. He's the uh, he's one of the, the, the creatives on... Uh, a Max Payne. I think he's he usually, wrote it. Yeah, yeah. He was the original face facial model, and he also wrote uh, Alan Wake and stuff. And Alan Wake wrote Max Payne in the book. Yeah, by a different name. Uh, Max isn't called Max in it, but the uh, voiceovers have James McCaffrey's voice in Alan Wake. Well, let's get this started. Okay, this is getting really confusing. I heard it. I heard it has voiced. I came in from the cold. Uh, wow. Outside the city was a cruel monster. Doesn't even sound that bad. Slowly working uh -uh. the small time to the big fish. Trying to get to the source of the drug. Alex and BB were my only contacts in the DEA. The only ones in this decrepit city who knew I was down here. Yeah, I mean, I think it's the same story as the console version of Max. Right. right yeah. Yep, and it has over 30 minutes of spoken dialogue. Oh, wow. Which is I, crazy. I actually, when I was I was working at GameStop at the time, reading that on the back of the box made me, like, take it home and try it out. I was like, all right, I got to see all this, uh, all this talking. I, I was impressed by it. I wanted to see it. Stirred nervously under my coat, but the train doors. Whenever I hear stuff, I just think of Reeves and his cold slap of sausage <laughs> yeah. thing. Roscoe Street Station. Cold slap of sausage, or was it rain? There's a lot of cold slap. Cold slap of rain and a cold slap of sausage. Asymmetric. Oh, okay. Hey, and you've you've got bullet time. I mean, it's you know. All right, take a few seconds Look to use it. Whoa, that camera's crazy. Get that wall. Who developed this, Reiner? Was it a Rockstar Studio or was it somebody 3D else? 3D Realms and Rockstar. Okay. Right. So you got a shotgun huh. already? That's right. He has a, just a crowbar. Oh, crowbar. Max, uh, Half-Life style. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Whoa, Whoa break what dancing. Ah. Yeah, you can back. start back up. I'm playing Max Payne 3 so much lately, I'm used to him just sort of laying on the ground. If you don't, you know. But he just jumps right back up. Pills. Give me pills. How are you controlling the camera like that? I'm not. Okay, it's just going crazy. Well, I guess it goes like a little bit ahead of his point of view, and since Tim is looking in 360 degrees so much. That's a yeah. nice looking Game Boy Advance bathroom. It is. <laughs> yeah, One of the best, maybe. Look at the detail on that toilet. Look at that fan, just to make when sure did, that the poop smell goes away. Really. When did video games sort of obsession with bathrooms start? With Silent Hill 2, I think, right? Duke Nukem? Duke Nukem, yeah. So, you know, you're always just going in bathrooms. I spent a lot of time in the bathrooms. So. Remember the, remember that. Just in general, in my life. Yeah, one of those subway <laughs> showers, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and without fail, I have to click on every toilet. Yeah, yeah. Even if like one toilet doesn't work, I'll go into the next stall and see. Maybe I can click yeah, on this one. Yeah. Where is it? Well, I remember playing Max Payne for the first time, just being impressed that I could activate showers and flush toilets and turn yeah. on sinks, wash my hands. All right, moment the of dream, truth here. man. <laughs> Living the dream. Get him! Get him! Get him! Oh, that's kind of awesome. There's like a big dookie there. Yeah. What is? <laughs> I wasn't gonna say it, but I think we're all thinking it. <laughs> get him! Get him! Get him! So what, How does the targeting work? Yeah. You just gotta aim where he is uh, in relation to Max. Well, um, that's how targeting, all targeting <laughs> in general, works. I well, mean, then there's your this answer. Game. <laughs> Matt Pain. You gotta try jumping down the stairs in slow motion when you get chance. It's very important. Whoa! Yeah. It's a portal to another world. Oh, it's the uh, from. Oh yeah. Two thousand one. Hell? Hell? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can't Just hanging you, out in a New York subway. Can't, can't let you do that, Max. I can't flush that toilet, Max. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Tim. Thank you. Roar. Thank you. Sounds Thank like you. a Doom enemy. Yeah, totally. Oh, yeah. It sounds like a, uh, like a pinky. Maybe well, it's three more of an imp. Involved in the Doom in some way. Shotgun. Nice. I'll take it. How are you switching weapons? Uh, it's You hold down the left uh, bumper. Which I got this handy dandy like SNES um, style uh, controller that plugs into the GameCube. I really like it. So I see one potential problem with this so far: enemies being able Oof. to shoot you off of screen. 
Yeah, that's rough. Well, like Ooh, so. Lives. Very I much trial and error. Anymore. I don't know what the. You know what? I was totally ready for the painkiller to put me in a last stand from. Uh, <laughs> that's from a new 3. feature in Max Payne Three. Right. And I think that's why I didn't do it. There Oof. you go. Man, this game bloody. I would have loved this. Yeah, yeah I remember. The smears. That's I remember amazing. Being really impressive playing it, but like I don't. I don't know if it's like really necessarily fun after a while because it gets tough. Sure. This is. It's. I mean, the, there's definitely a novelty factor for someone yeah. who likes Max Payne. But yeah. Well, even. I mean, even non. I mean, non Max Payne fans. I mean, the the the, the voiceover <laughs> is cool and the the bullet time is is pretty sweet, especially on the Game Boy Advance. You know. Yeah. 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 Technologically, it's an impressive feat. I feel like that's all, like, sometimes that's just what the Game Boy Advance was. Like, hey, look, you can play Doom on here. It's not great, but... Well, Rockstar's always been great at pushing the limits of handheld technology. Yeah. With the Vice City stories, the Grand Theft Auto stories on PSP. Oh, yeah, those yeah. were great. And then even Chinatown Grand Theft Auto Wars. Chinatown Wars on DS. Oh. I gotta find the painkiller button. <laughs> Max! <laughs> Max, this isn't your time to practice pacifism, dude. Just... <laughs> What just happened? He just like the, the guy just like ran in that? and shot the civilian that? and just ran out. Yeah. Like, Peace. Oh, I found the painkiller button. It was why. Oh god. There's, I thought Game Boy Advance had A and D. Oh, it's both of those buttons. Well, go in there, Max. Oh, do you have to search something on that guy that just got shot? Maybe it's got the Metal Gear exclamation point. Boing. So I guess if you, maybe you hit the button, it activates the guy oh. walking out and shooting and walking back in. Yeah. Get, get so in the cardboard can, box. Yeah. Sneak yeah. in. <laughs> Sweet couch, subway couch. <laughs> just yeah. <laughs> would you ever sit on a couch in a subway? <laughs> oh boy. Oh, I just bullet timed out the door. No, oh. get it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, do they not? Is bullet time like? Are they not allowed to use bullet time in Max Payne Three? Because they call it shoot dodge, right? I think it's called bullet time. Yeah. I, no. They, they own. They own all. Rockstar has all yeah. of Max Payne. Okay. There's. There's no, They don't have to hold back on anything. When I did, you know, like playable previews when they're at the office yeah. they were referring to it as bullet time okay you know and i, I wrote about it as bullet time and yeah, if I it was too. wrong think, they would have corrected me believe me yeah i think it's called bullet time in the manual okay and the training on in the game it's calls it shoot dodge hmm. so that's why i was wondering oh that's with the the diving i think they gave that a different name oh so just just slowing everything down is it's bullet time yeah. but yep. when and you're shoot the dodge is okay. diving yep you know it might have always been like that actually yeah maybe Oh, there's some more painkillers in the corner there. Oh, thanks. Oh. This is kind of awesome. I, I'm actually kind of digging it. Um, oh, here. Here we are. So do I have to open it and then take it? I love that sound. <laughs> you might want to use one. And there looked like there's a lot of stuff in there you can interact with. In here? Yeah. There's like a lot of solid snake exclamation points. Ah, restoring power. Ding! That's another thing you do a lot in video games. Restoring Store power. power. Yeah. <laughs> Power's always going out, man. You know, it to, to uh, disenfranchised people, you know, to subways, to um, old swords. Doors. A lot yeah. of doors need power in video yeah. games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Now I could use a map. Have, has anybody ever encountered a door that needs power no. in their real life? In real life? Yeah. Elevator door? Our elevators, our elevators. Actually, Ele but that's technically we have kind of video games. I guess that's not a door. Yeah, that's, that's a an hole. elevator. Yeah. But our elevators, with the frequency they go out, actually are sort of video game elevators. <laughs> I, don't, I actually straight up ignore their existence now because <laughs> they're so inconsistent. Because like one of the elevators just doesn't work. It's just there for like window yeah. dressing. No, you know, yeah, like, like, yeah exactly. <laughs> like, it's just like we didn't bother to render this out. Like it just doesn't work. It's like all those locked doors in Max Payne. And, you know, you just he'll, he'll shoulder them, but he just he just gives up on them immediately. I like that he at least tries. <laughs> Never doesn't try the door. He just kind of doesn't. Never tries the knob, but he will shoulder it. Yeah. Like, Max Payne only pushes doors open. He doesn't turn knobs to open them. And you never really think about it, but Max just completely altered the subway lines. <laughs> Sent this one train all the way down here into the water. Yeah. So people are probably oh! waiting at a station. Yeah, they're like uh, after work. <laughs> they're like, when's the when's the two train coming? Just wants to go home and you know. I got to get back to Brooklyn uh, Heights. Just wants to watch Big Bang Theory. Yeah, and he's got to sit there and wait. Oh, yeah, somewhere. that's all anyone really wants to do is just <laughs> go home and watch Big Bang Theory after a hard day's work. I know my dad does. <laughs> I enjoy Sheldon. Oh, he's great. He's a good character. My dad uh, called him a consistent character. That's why he likes Sheldon. He he's is consistent. He is. So that was a a good. Oh no. I was sort of when oh, I, oh, when oh, I debuted, what? I was sort of just 
in theory oh, happy that Darlene's that boyfriend cool. from Roseanne had found work again. You know, just like <laughs> that, in general. That, uh, there's a couple. There's a bunch of Roseanne actors on that show. Yeah, you guys I just are, thought that was cool. You guys are missing yeah. this. Wasn't Darlene herself on it for a little bit? Yeah, and uh, Roseanne's sister for a while. Right? I didn't hit anything. Played, uh, Sheldon's mom. Man, what? Did, did you ever see the last episode of Roseanne? <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> You guys never saw it? No, no I, I know, so. I know about the last episode of Roseanne. It's uh, it was all a dream. She, Roseanne is crazy, and she started writing John back into life after his yes. heart attack. So the, basically, the last season and a half was concocted by Roseanne, where they win the lottery and like their apartment turns really nice. But like Dan was really dead, and like Becky and Darlene were actually married to the opposite guys, and like Jackie was really gay, but she made her mom gay in her like fantasy world. And, Dude, I'm telling you, the last episode was messed up. It's, I'm kind of surprised I don't strangest, know this. Because I've, like, I've watched a good bit of Roseanne, but I didn't know any of this about that last season. I, I caught it once. For a while, they were re-showing it on some local station about nine, right before we you know, go to work. So I was watching it for a while, and it was like the last season. I had never seen it, and I got sucked into it. It's really bizarre. Interesting. Yeah, Netflix said. All right. I like oh, that. Well. I never have to reload. Do you crowbar those boxes? Oh, kill him, Max! Come on, man. I oh, think animations are really good. Yeah. yeah. So, Tim, do you think you'll uh, actually take this home and like, Absolutely play not. It? No? Okay. <laughs> I mean, this is about as close of a look as I think the game needs. Because right. uh, you took, what was it, Kid Dracula recently. Kid That's Dracula like, is awesome. Yeah, you took that home and played through that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that game, though, I mean, there's no camera issue. Like, the game's just really <laughs> polished. You can tell that Kid this is going to... Kid Dracula? Gonna, I've never yeah. Heard that. yeah so, okay, in Japan, um, the Dracula <laughs> series is called Castlevania Dracula. And um, they, and so this game, if it was ever released uh, under its original title, would have been called Castlevania Kid Dracula. Would have okay. been the name of it. So it is. You're just basically playing like Dracula's son, but okay. it's, it's cool. Is it like a like a kitty platformer it is, it version of Castlevania? Yeah, I'd say. Huh. Uh, well, yeah, kind of, but it has like Kirby kind of uh, cuteness to it, and it's hmm. adorable. Dracula's adorable. You fight a giant chicken and Jason Voorhees, and that's the worst sound ever, by the way. <laughs> yeah, that could go up there with like Baby Crying and uh, Super Mario World 2. But if you created an alarm, you'd want the sound to be obnoxious yeah. and just horrible and get the people out of there, right? That's, that's true. Or would you want it to be like protected by Viper? Nintendo sound Vision. effects, <laughs> stuff that you really like hearing. <laughs> just the Mario theme starts playing. Do, 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 Come on, Max. Yeah. Oof, that was close. They really are pretty generous with the bullet time, which is good, because it's probably the only thing that's really making the game playable. Yeah. Like, if you didn't have bullet time, this would be a rough go. Yeah. That was the biggest novelty phone I've ever seen. <laughs> you got any painkillers around this biatch? Probably need to restore power. <laughs> the painkillers. Pain to the max! Vault doors are electronic sometimes, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Yeah. That's that is a little more. Is it painkillers in a bank vault? Sure. Yeah, you know, it's in a safety <laughs> deposit box. <laughs> it can never be too safe, Matt. Uh, it's like Gregory, one, Gregory House's safety <laughs> deposit box. Yeah. One of the things I really like about Max Paint Three is it kind of gives uh, offers conceits to why there's like painkillers everywhere. Like every time you pick up a painkiller, Max is like, looks like these police officers have their own habits or something like that yeah. you know like there's always some reason why like there's painkillers like just in the most random places my favorite line was when um he grabs some painkillers and he's like they have their body armor i have mine as he grabs some pain pills uh, my favorite was when he said when he stops drinking and he goes one vice at a time yeah yeah and then sometimes you know there is no explanation and hey there's just painkillers all over the place why not okay so Open another door, Max. That a boy. Um, there we are. That, that, that noise. I know it's got to stop. We might end this this replay here very <laughs> quick <laughs> if it does not stop. Oh, I got the detonator at least. Hold on. Can you crowbar that? I I love not having to reload. Like it's so doom. Ah. Can't take it anymore. We're, guys. we're almost out of here. Have to hit that button. Wait, do you have to go back in the vault and blow up the wall in the vault? Isn't that how you get out of here? Uh, there was the C4 was strapped to a door earlier, and I need to probably get back to that. Ugh. You know, because it's not a super remote detonator; it's more of a local detonator, yeah, like six feet or so. Yeah, which is good for explosives. Yes, because you want to get close to those to make sure they go off. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. So I think it's up here. <sighs> 
Hooray! What's on that door? Like a drawing? <laughs> like a whale or something? Or? Get the hell out of there, Horrible Max. graffiti. There you go. <laughs> the celebratory bullet time. <laughs> yeah. So can you spin all the way around like you can in the yeah. the other versions? That's oh, awesome. I don't. Can you do it really fast? Whoa! Oh. Whoa. Uh, I ran out. Can you like spin around like a madman in slow motion? You can just, you can roll when you don't have bullet time. Uh, What's going on through here? This music reminds me of uh, Binding of Isaac. Okay. So it's following the same path you go from here. Yep. Ah! He gets he gets framed here. Well, at least they at least they did the violence off screen. Yeah, no, I'm happy I didn't have to see that. Nice. Good job, Tim. Thank what you. Is this game rated M on Game Boy Advance? I mean, I, guess, I imagine it would be. Yeah, the it is. Blood it is on the wall. Well, I should point out uh, this version is by Mobius Entertainment. And it's produced by 3D Realms and published by Rockstar. Mobius. Interesting. Based on the original game by Remedy. Huh. Like a Mobius strip? Yes. No, no, like uh, Sonic's Pain to the Max. Yeah, this is the way they start making puns about Max's name. <laughs> I didn't realize Pain was like an actual last name, but I saw someone on TV or something with the actual last There's name. There's uh, Alexander Payne, the uh, yeah. director. Oh. Did like about Schmidt. Oh. In Election. Okay. And some I other like movies. Right. On that. I think that's all we need to see of this. Looks very cool. They definitely went for it and did a pretty good job of capturing oh. uh, what was in the uh, the PC and console versions. I yeah. have one more fun fact, Ryder. Mm -hmm. Is this about Mo Roseanne? No. Okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Uh, Mobius Entertainment eventually was purchased and became Rockstar Leeds. Wow. So that is a fun, cool fact. And they did uh they did Vice City Stories, mm. Liberty City Stories, The Warriors PSP, Manhunt 2 PSP, uh the Wii version of Rockstar presents table tennis. <laughs> yeah, I always forget about that game. And that they most recently did the, the PC skew of LA Noir. I'm still waiting on Rockstar Presents Table Tennis Vice City. <laughs> <laughs> just an 80s version of yeah, it? Yeah, just a lot of neon That'd headbands cool. and stuff. That would be yeah. amazing. <laughs> Good arcade game. All right, we'll end it here as he's diving in slow motion, killing three guys at once. Very nicely done, Tim. Let's move on to our roulette. For our roulette, we're looking at Planet of the Apes on Game Boy Advance, sticking with our handheld theme here. I don't know what to expect here, Tim. What is this? What this this well this kind of fits in the Tim Burton like art style I think. Of, so like, is this based on the, Burton, the crappy Tim Burton version? I think so. I think it came out around the same time. I don't know. That looks that beard is so Hestonish. <laughs> Hestonish. That's a good. Uh, Hestonish that should be in the dictionary. Yeah. Hestonish. Is this water coloring? Earth, Earth time, ship time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not interested in any of this. We're skipping this. That's that's Heston, baby. There he is. When it takes that long to figure out where your character is on screen, it's uh, <laughs> a bad <laughs> Oh, I still didn't see it. Okay. Oh, this has got like a flashback feel to it so far. He oh, looks man. Like Chuck Norris. I like how long the uh, turning animation is. That's handy. The beard it's is like really pronounced. Like it looks like a helmet. Original Prince of Persia. It, oh, yeah. It does kind of look like that, yeah. Animation-wise. Up. Yeah, he even up ran jump. into the wall and like threw his hands up like Prince of Persia. Oh, this is exactly like Prince of Persia. Exactly. Is, is this Prince of Persia? This is Prince of Persia with Heston. <laughs> Heston's Prince of Persia. <laughs> Heston Charles. Heston. Oh my God. Heston's Prince of Persia. I've, I've on, played Tim, that game. Tim, you can do this, baby. Okay, that looked promising. <laughs> Look out for the cactus, I guess. Yes. Yeah. All yes, right. Yes, Tim, go. Kong. Were there vultures in the film? I feel like they're all in apes. This is a side apes and vultures. Yeah, oh. that's the special edition. You have a Buster Sword. Tiny one. Tiny yeah, Buster Sword. Yeah, look at that. Ah, ah. How about you? Yeah, I prefer the term Tiny Sword instead of Knife, just in general. Well, I'll, I'll make sure to, to use that then. I'd appreciate that. When referring to your <laughs> letter turn. We've come a long way since Prince of Persia and Flashback. <laughs> as fond of uh, memories I have of those games, I don't want to play them ever again. Uh, have you played Blackthorn? You're going to have to cut up that cactus. Use your miniature yeah, yeah. sword. That's where you can shotgun dudes in yeah. the face. <laughs> oh, no. This is bad. This is a bad game. Do you guys not like me? 
Come on, Tim. You can do this again. Yes! Dan just got to play all of Half-Life 1. <laughs> I heard he was really bad at it or was Look at that. approaching it in the wrong way wow. or something. Yeah, he's bad. I mean, the animation is nice, but it just it's doesn't like, really... What's that? What was that? Check it's oh. like Metal Gear Revenge oh. Rent. <laughs> Revenger reference? Metal Gear reference? Okay. Metal Gear reference? <laughs> Metal Gear Rising Zan. Dark Knight Metal Gear Rising? Really exciting beginning to this game. Oh, look out for the more animals. I really don't remember there being other animals. Maybe I just I have watched, not watched that movie in years. Rise of the Planets of Whoa. the Apes and Friends. <laughs> not an uppercut. <laughs> like, what are you I doing? Like I have to inch towards it. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Cha -cha. What was, year was this made? I like how he switches hands. Yeah, no, he's like, ah, da, 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 yeah. <laughs> Come at me. Alright, get it get it figured out, dude. Are those checkpoints? You think they gotta be, right? Yeah. Yeah. This guy kind of this on screen character looks like he should be in a just for men commercial. <laughs> it looks so natural, no one can tell. The rejuvenator. Just for men. Look at that! <laughs> you can only roll. No crawling. Whee! <laughs> oh! Wow, alternate pathways. He's a break dancer. He's, he, I like his serial man lock a lot. Oh no. Hey, buddy. Just want to say, hey. <laughs> what you doing behind that rock? Oh, nothing. Wait, so, is there any incentive for you to attack This is just a name? small sword. This isn't a knife. Don't worry about it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Like, you totally just could have bypassed that guy, right? Like, there was oh, yeah. no... Sure. You didn't gain experience or anything. He's going to have to try to get up here. This is going to be a disaster, I think. No. Oh, oh. Damn. Oh, I, I got the up thing. Oh, okay. Here we go. Some more Metal Gear. Hey, Cactus. <laughs> it's just a, my small sword. Don't mind. Just going to scooch in here, get a little look at your, your pricklies. <laughs> well, it's getting a little long there. Let me help you out with that. Ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> I'll be seeing you later. I do like that move, the inch forward. Yeah. Yeah, yeah this is... Uh... It's like you just found a chick, a baby chick, fell out of its tree, out of the tree and onto your driveway, and you're just like, it's still alive, you don't want to scare it. Um, <laughs> and you're just kind of like... Is this our first oh, ape we see? Bud. <laughs> is that an ape? It's green. That is an ape. He's in a green jumpsuit. I don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> think he has... Jumpsuit. I don't think he's armed. He's, the, he's one of the green screen. He's like one of the background monkeys. You didn't try to... You're insane! Oof. Oh. Can I do a stealth kill? Pull him off the ledge like Ezio? Yeah. <laughs> uh, no. Get him, get him, get him. Come on. Inchworm technique, do it. Wait, does he like not walk? Is he stopping because you're there and like. I just can't. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. What was that? <laughs> Something hit <laughs> the, me. The first what? time he got stabbed with a knife, he was like, eh, I'll just keep doing my rounds. Ah, uh, this isn't that bad. What was he protecting up there? <laughs> He's doing his rest. He's wow. stuck up there. He's as bad as getting around as we are. Oh, there's that. Watch out for that snake, because you don't know they're unpredictable. <laughs> He's really watching me. This is literally one of the worst games I've ever seen. <laughs> this is ridiculous. No. This is great. You weren't here for the uh, the Zelda CDI Super Replay. Oh. oh. <laughs> wow, I didn't know you guys did well, that. Well, not Super Replay. Just a replay. Thank God. <laughs> nice. Good job. That was gripping action. Did you get the ape badge? Come on. Oh, no! Oh, I missed one. Oh, those are well, enemies. Just enemies. Right. Yeah, well, enemies. save that for super replay of this game. Uh, it's oh. developed by Taurus Games and published by, since you brought it up, Ubisoft. Mm, the oh, so old they, Ubisoft. So, a, like, we're talking about Assassin's Creed. They probably looked to this when they were developing Assassin's Creed to kind of get some <laughs> yeah, ideas. You know, it's key members. Of yeah, the Assassin's Creed team four will probably introduce the little uh, sneak forward move, <laughs> the inch <Man>. forward. <laughs> How long are we gonna make Tim? <laughs> and uh, stationary. He's got to get that gun. They'll probably be stationary snakes in the Assassin's Creed three. You know, they, they could be just there. And stationary not tech. Thinking. Stationary snake technology. SST. <laughs> Oh, Tim, careful. Ooh. Look at those desert spikes. Oh! oh. You can collect uh, these, apparently. What? You oh, yeah. oh, no. Oh, no. They're probably weapons or something. <gasps> no, they're just flags. We're going to have a real fight. Don't get your this guy's up. not just going to walk, keep walking into So do you attack the knife. monkey or the snake? Monkey. Ape. Ape, come hey, on. Excuse me, excuse me. I'm sorry. All right, see what I can no, do here. Sorry, the new plan wasn't very politically correct. That was really good. I was, I was Shoot surprised. Shoot the ape in the heart. Good. The the, uh, the new one, the Tim Burton one. <laughs> <laughs> Impactful combat. That is your opinion, Matt. 
You didn't like it? The Tim Burton one? No, no, no. The new one that just I came out. I loved it. The Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Oh, 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 that's Rise a pretty cool good. movie. Rise was good. I liked Rise. Yeah, yeah. I was just because I, I hated the Tim Burton one. Yeah, that yeah, sucked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I wasn't really super excited about an, another new yeah, one. Yeah, but I, I thought it, it was, surprised uh, me. Yeah. It was well done. I do agree with you there. Sorry that I. Heston, no! I'm sorry it's I going past him. No, I'm. No. Hey. I, uh. Yeah, Tim Burton hasn't done a lot that I've liked for a long time. I think I liked Sleepy Hollow, maybe. Yeah, that was kind of cool. I kind yeah. of appreciated how ridiculous Sweeney Todd was. I like no Sweeney way. Todd. Everybody's making fun of Battleship for not making money, but that new Tim Burton movie, Dark Shadows or whatever, yeah, oh. that's a, that's tanking. And then he also has, what is it, Frank and Weenie, I think I saw previews for in front of Avengers. Oh, uh, it's uh, animated, right? Yeah, it looks oh, terrible. Oh, really? Oh, really? Any Tim Burton animated film is usually pretty good. Well, the but only he one... did, it doesn't matter because that weirdly Alice in Wonderland is like one of the top grossing movies of all time. It's like 1.1 billion worldwide. Yeah, it's like over a billion dollars worldwide. I had no idea that was even... Like, I thought it was a ma- moderately okay and me and Reiner looked it up. It's like... That's it's weird. literally right behind like, you know, Titanic and Avatar in those movies. I would have never guessed that in a million years. Aww. I know. We were shocked. So he's kind of... I think banking on that now. All right, guys. Tim just put down the controller. I don't think. <laughs> okay, uh, let's, let's. I don't let's, think he wants to play Tim. anymore. All right. Uh, so we had a look at a decent Game Boy Advance game and a pretty awful one. Nice. <laughs> that was a good death, though. Yeah. Thanks for watching, death, everyone. Tim. We'll uh, we'll see you next time.